you see a loaf of bread. Anyone here at home, can you guess the secret ingredient in this loaf of bread? Yeah. Cauliflower. Oh. It's cauliflower. Got it. So those of you out there trying to make your breads a little bit healthier, if you want to try something alternative, maybe you're gluten free. This is made with cauliflower, eggs, and a little bit of almond flour. Shall we? Yeah, let's give it a I try. love your face every time, Dr. Nita. I'm home. No. Give it a chance. Give it a whirl. Did my face really do something? Yeah. It did? Really? I thought I was smiling on the outside. I like it. You like that? <laughs> Go, Travis, oh, tell yeah. me how you think. You took a big bite. See, that's not what you do. You take a bite like that. It tastes... Oh, it's... Come on, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I've seen you eat some stuff on this show. I think the spices are getting me a little bit. I'm just excited that it's not me this time. You know what? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah. You know, the, the producers really, Dr. Orton liked it. The producers yeah. really liked it. So don't, of course, don't listen to me. And this time, maybe. No, hey, I like it. I think yeah. uh, I love cauliflower. <laughs> Cauliflower is my jam. You know, if you're looking for breakfast, for example, if you're looking for like a bread fix, some. put something on that, maybe a little bit of, of, of jam or some peanut butter, whatever. It's good. Some fiber, antioxidants. There we go. There you go. Give it a try. Good stuff, Docs. What's fun is all the ingenious ways you can now use vegetables for your crust, including Drew. We're not done yet. I've got the sweet potato pie. All right. Yeah, all like right. So one. I can't wait to try it. It does have the most carbs. It does have the most sugar because it is a starch. It's a potato. But this particular type of potato has a low glycemic index. That means it can help keep stable glucose levels if somebody is diabetic, for example. What else is good about it? Lots of vitamin A. We know the vitamin A is very important immune system and vision loaded with vitamin C. Also, as you alluded to, fiber. It's all about the fiber, which you're not getting with those doughy. Most traditional crust. American pizzas. I haven't tried my You're pizza. getting, especially if you just do the meat lovers, you're getting pretty much zero fiber. And, and I think that what's great about these pizzas is you're gonna feel fuller, longer. Of all three of these, I actually like the sweet potato crust the least. That doesn't mean I don't like it. I think I would do zucchini crust, broccoli crust, sweet potato crust in that order. I agree. I like zucchini. One, two, three. Yes. Awesome. Isn't it also interesting though, we were talking to Dr. Ball earlier about how you train your taste buds. I think one of the reasons why the sweet potato crust tastes so sweet to us is because we just had broccoli crust, we had mm -hmm. zucchini crust with yeah. no, just very little in the way of, of simple carbs. And then you eat the sweet potato crust and it jumps out at you a little bit, the yeah. sweetness of it. And we talk about training the taste buds of kids, but remember as an adult, you can still retrain your taste buds. So it may take a little bit, but just adjust your diet for a while, stick with it. And then when you try to eat something really sweet that you were, would eat before all the time, you'd be like, oh, I don't want it. Yeah, they're shaking their heads. You're like, yeah, I don't want it. I don't I want mean, it you anymore. You can try this pizza out on the kids. You know, maybe try to make it look with more. This. Start with this one. I, I guarantee you. The kids see the arugula yeah. on there. They're gonna, what's up with that? But yeah. I think a kid, I think a kid would be fooled yeah. with all of these. They might say, well, wait, this is a little different, but the truth be told, these all still, they still taste like pizza. Yeah. yeah. And we all win. Yeah. Good for your health and good for your palate. We're gonna have tips on how to make these pizzas at home at our website, thedoctortv.com.